It's the debut edition of Velocity here on TikTok. We're coming up next. Axiom goes one-on-one -on -one with the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, the Man Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. We are live on TikTok. Thank you for following us at Noah Nation Gaming. Hit the like button and hit follow if you haven't already. And let's get down to the action coming your way each and every Wednesday. From Friday Night SmackDown, the Cruiserweight division about to be on display. The mysterious, yet always exciting, Axiom looking to bounce back from a WrestleMania loss. And with the Cruiserweight champion opposing him, huge opportunity afoot. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 154 pounds. We well, gotta wonder where Axiom is gonna end up in just a couple of weeks as the WWE Draft approaches live on Monday Night Raw. Monday night, April the 8th. You'll only be able to see it on youtube.com forward slash Noanation Gaming. It's gonna be a live premiere event, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the 2024 WWE Draft Lottery. That is Monday night, April the 8th. But tonight, we are here on the debut edition of Velocity on TikTok. And Axiom. The always exciting superstar is going to have his hands full with the invincible Mad Dragon, the Czar, the cruiserweight champion of the world, Ilya Dragunov. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in. 187 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov hot off the heels less than two weeks ago on WrestleMania Saturday, outlasting five challengers in a physically demanding ladder matchup to retain his Cruiserweight title. As you can see, the length that not only Dragunov, but all the superstars went to to try to obtain the championship that was hanging high in the sky in AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas. But the Mad Dragon's reign as the Cruiserweight Champion lives on. He has held the gold since Sunday night, November the 19th of last year at Survivor Series. Dragunov turning away the challenge of all five SmackDown superstars at WrestleMania. One of those stars was his opponent tonight, Axiom. And you gotta believe that the young man that opposes the champion is hungry for opportunity, especially when he knows the lights are on bright here on this debut edition of Velocity. It is season opener week here for the 2024-2025 season. What a raucous Monday Night Raw this past Monday night in Madison Square Garden. But now all the action turns to velocity. The bell has tolled. Axiom and Dragunov kicking things off. Of course, you're not going to want to miss Friday Night SmackDown. Heading to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia this Friday night, only to be seen again. YouTube.com forward slash Noanation Gaming. Meanwhile, Jessica Carr, a referee tonight, has got our hands full. Axiom coming out swinging against the Cruiserweight Champion. Dragging off a tough puzzle to figure out inside of that ring. No man has been able to keep him down for quite some time. And you remember, Aelia Dragging off and Axiom, a lot of history between these two men. Fought in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament back in the fall. The tournament that propelled Dragging off and eventually winning the Cruiserweight Championship. Now look at Axiom trying to throw Dragon off off of his game. A suplex out of the ring and to the floor. Axiom knows that he's got to pull out some of the best to try to keep down the Mad Dragon here tonight. He is familiar with the game of the champion. Dropping him on his dome moments ago. And now Axiom bringing the fight back between the neon green into the cover. Only a one count that time. The Cruiserweight Champion, so tough to beat inside of that ring. We have talked about it to no end many a times before. Wait a minute, into the bridge. Another close call. We have talked about it in depth many a times before. 
Ilya Dragunov, a strange guy to say the least inside of that ring. Many a times thrives off the pain that is dished out from his opponent and ends up rising like a phoenix in the end to outlast his opponent and get the victory. Look at Dragunov just egging Axiom on. Say, you want to trade blows, you're doing it with one of the best, but Axiom gets the best of them. Beautiful Pele kick. The Cruiserweight Champion, just under two weeks removed from retaining his title at WrestleMania, may be nowhere near 100%. Axiom was involved in that matchup as well. Battered and bruised these two superstars may be. But the lights are on bright tonight and certainly an opportunity for Axiom to climb the ranks. Holy hell! Of the Cruiserweight division. He's got to stop it. Absolutely all cost to try to keep down Dragunov, but... Oh my goodness! Easier said than done! There are some screws loose in the mind of the Cruiserweight Champion. Into the cover, and it's a close call there for Axiom. Man, Ilya Dragunov already tough as it is, but if he starts adding new tools to his arsenal, I don't know who the hell is going to keep down the Cruiserweight Champion. Nonetheless, I want to remind you that this Friday night on SmackDown, the head of the table, Roman Reigns, is live on the blue brand for the very first time in over two years. And coming up this Monday night on Raw, Cora Jade with a non-title opportunity going one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Women's Champion, Liv Morgan. So much action to come here as the 2024 season continues to kick off. While Axiom dropped toe hold moments ago, trying to find a way back into this match. The half Nelson sends Dragon off halfway across the ring. Axiom might have had his bell rung a few moments ago with that mean shot, that forearm right to the jawline. Ilya Dragon off a dangerous superstar. Dishes out massive physicality, to say the least, inside of that ring. Axiom can be very unpredictable at times, however. Offense that so muddy, or I should say nobody, wants to withstand. He's got the champion reeling. What has Axiom got in mind? Send it up for a ride. Any other time, that'd be an amusement park ride, but I don't think Dragunov takes any amusement. It being flipped out of the canvas, but somehow, some way, it's only a one. Man, Axiom, credit where credit's due, he's given this match a fight tonight. But the cruiserweight champion is just a different breed inside of that ring. Has got Axiom backed up against the wall, both figuratively and literally this time. And now the cruiserweight champion is in control. Oh, wait a minute here. Wait a minute, what the hell is Dragunov doing? You gotta be kidding me! The champion! From coast to coast! Ilya Dragunov soaring through the sky like a man dragon that he is! And you can probably count to 20! Axiom, I think, is out cold! The Cruiserweight Champion victorious on Velocity! The cruiser. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. The Irish ace, JD McDonough. What the hell is he doing here? Ambushing Dragunov and the headbutt Saido combination. You've got to be kidding me. McDonough has been chasing the Cruiserweight Championship since the end of 2023. He has had multiple opportunities at this point. Has it gotten the job done? And now when Dragunov's back is turned, the Irish Ace looking to strike a damn steel chair. This is ridiculous. The Cruiserweight Champion helpless to defend himself. Axiom out at ringside, knocked out cold. JD McDonough striking while the iron's hot. Oh my goodness. We need some help out here. Jessica Carr, no way she's going to get involved between JD McDonough and Ilya Dragunov. Oh no, not again. On the steel chair, JD McDonough sending an emphatic message that he has not done his pursuit of the Cruiserweight Championship. Thank you for joining us here on Velocity.
It is Velocity only on TikTok. And this week, coming your way from Monday Night Raw, it is Baron Corbin, Bronson Reed, these two heavyweights set to lock horns inside the squared circle, live up next here on Velocity. We are only on TikTok each and every Wednesday. Be sure to hit the follow and hit like for more as Velocity is set to kick off on the road to Backlash. Backlash is coming your way Saturday night, April the 13th in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Will any of these Raw superstars be building momentum and making their way on that marquee of what is sure to be one extraordinary event coming up next month? The following is scheduled for one false, making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds. Of course, we are also anticipating the 2024 WWE Draft Lottery, which takes place Monday night, April the 8th on Raw. It is a live premiere event, kick it off at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Where are the fates of some of these WWE superstars gonna lie? Baron Corbin and Bronson Reed here on Velocity tonight representing the Raw brand, but coming up on April the 8th, they could be on their way to SmackDown. Anything could happen in the 2024 Draft Lottery. But that is then, and this is now, and Baron Corbin, who recently resurfaced on Monday Night Raw on the road to WrestleMania, is looking to bounce back after that six-man tag team loss at AT&T Stadium. But of course, opposing Baron Corbin tonight, a man hot off the heels of his return in Madison Square Garden just over a week ago on Monday Night Raw. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, Weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed. The former NXT North American champion sent a tidal wave into New York City when he returned just over a week ago on Monday Night Raw. Accepting the challenge of the A-list superstar The Miz, Bronson Reed stepped away from WWE, traveled around the world, became one of the best heavyweights to ever walk this soil, and now takes his talents right here, back to the WWE, and Big Bronson Reed is looking to take Monday Night Raw and any brand that he may end up by storm. I'll tell you, last week we had cruiserweight action from Friday Night SmackDown here on Velocity. This week, Baron Corbin and Big Bronson Reed, some heavyweights and a super one at that from Monday Night Raw. This is Velocity, it is only on TikTok. Be sure to hit the follow and like. It's coming your way each and every Wednesday. And of course, Monday Night Raw, Friday Night SmackDown, each and every week only on the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Noah Nation Gaming. Here we are, Brunson Reed and Baron Corbin kicking things off. Two very different motives coming into this matchup, as we mentioned. For Baron Corbin, a man who returned to Monday Night Raw upwards of a month ago, really alongside Karrion Cross and Joe Gacy, and that is kind of a unit that has seemingly been a little bit disheveled as of late. We haven't heard much from that trio, but Corbin was alongside those two men in a war against the Brawling Brutes at WrestleMania, and we saw how that went. Sheamus getting the victory in AT&T Stadium, pitting Joe Gacy on that night. Now Baron Corbin returned to action for the very first time since his trip to Dallas, Texas at WrestleMania. So Corbin looking to bounce back tonight, build some momentum for himself on Monday Night Raw. And as for Brunson Reed, who may be in trouble, but gets the knee up. Reed just looking to keep his momentum strong after his return upwards of a week ago in Madison Square Garden. Wait a minute here. Speaking of strength, look at Baron Corbin go! Corbin digging down deep and getting the big man up, sending him right down to the hardest part of the ring. Corbin knows he has got to pick apart the big man tonight in order to keep him down for the victory. It was an emphatic victory at that. Just over a week ago at Madison Square Garden when Brunson Reed defeated The Miz. Baron Corbin, I'm sure, did his study, did his watch of that matchup, and has seen Brunson Reed in action many a times before. He knows what he's up against tonight. Trying to throw Reed off his game. Soaring through the skies, rare occurrence for Corbin. Looked like he was going for a shoulder block that time. Bronson Reed made him pay. 
And now look at the strength by the big man. Face first off the floor goes Baron Corbin. Action heating up here on Velocity, and this coming Friday night on SmackDown, the action's gonna be hot and heavy. When the badass Braun Breaker he issued a challenge to the Apex Predator Randy Orton after Orton got involved in his matchup last week, Breaker Orton one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever this Friday night on SmackDown. And then coming up this Monday night on Raw, Cora Jade continues to impress each and every week. She looks to turn away the challenge of the woman that eliminated her in that battle royal just over a week ago, the number one contender for the women's title, the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. It's all coming your way over the next week here in the WWE, but right now, Corbin and Reed throwing some live rounds, a couple of haymakers. Aaron Corbin, former Golden Glove champion, and Bronson Reed trying to hang in there. Back and forth, these two heavyweights go, and Corbin, ooh! Alex for the elbow to be the equalizer and has taken down the big man once more. Defeating Bronson Reed is a task easier said than done. Corbin's finding that out firsthand tonight. Baron Corbin's been a champion himself here in the WWE. He's looking to prove why against big Bronson Reed tonight. Oh, look at the strength once more. A deep six by Baron Corbin. Not enough to keep Bronson Reed down. You gotta respect the talents of Baron Corbin as he goes again. A second deep six. Corbin bringing the energy, digging down deep with the strength tonight. You gotta respect Baron Corbin's talents. A veteran of the squared circle, but Bronson Reed hanging in there. And look at the agile and the speed of Reed to be able to stop in his tracks. Catch Baron Corbin and send him for a ride. And now Reed with a big time lariat knocking Corbin off his feet. The action is heating up on the road to Backlash, Saturday night, April the 13th. It will be live on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at 5 p.m. Eastern time. You are not gonna wanna miss all the action as Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown Superstar is gonna be in the Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico for Backlash. Now Bronson Reed trying to keep his momentum in this matchup. Corbin leveled him a few moments ago with double deep six, but now Reed trying to play catch up. Big time power bomb. You want to talk about strength? Look no further. Into the cover goes Reed. Baron Corbin, however, just slipping the shoulder up, it looks like. Obvious damage done as Brunson Reed looking to continue to stack that offense. Baron Corbin may be in trouble. Corbin might have thrown his best shot in this matchup as Reed off the middle rope with the elbow drop. And oh no, I think we know what comes next. Tsunami by Brunson Reed. Baron Corbin looking up at the lights. Thanks for coming. The victory goes to Big Brunson Reed. It has been an action-packed return to the WWE for Brunson Reed over the last week, turning away The Miz in Madison Square Garden, and now here on Velocity, only on TikTok, keeping down a former champion in himself, that being Baron Corbin. What a win for big Brunson Reed here on Wednesday afternoon. Here is your winner, Brunson Reed. What is gonna be next? for the former NXT North American champion as Big Brunson Reed continues to steamroll over the competition on Monday Night Raw. Velocity continues to heat up. Action coming your way each and every Wednesday, only here on TikTok. Be sure to hit the like and follow, and for more action, head over to the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Nation Gaming. Thank you for joining us live here on Velocity. As the megastar LA Knight prepares the challenge for the WWE Championship on April the 13th at Backlash, he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the upstart, Trick Williams, here only on TikTok, only on Velocity. It is certainly a test for the defiant one as he looks to continue to build momentum towards the fatal four-way matchup at Backlash.
Well, of course, before we get to Backlash, we are on the road to the 2024 Draft Lottery that will be taking place live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday night, April the 8th, only on Monday Night Raw. That is going to be taking place over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But tonight, we are here on TikTok as we have been each and every Wednesday of the new season. As we will continue to be. Hit the follow, hit the like, velocity only right here on the No Nation Gaming TikTok page. But the megastar LA Knight still riding a high off a victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley just over a week ago on Monday Night Raw. LA Knight looking to keep that momentum strong on the road to backlash here tonight. But certainly not a easy task on hand. Trick Williams, an upstart in the red brand, normally alongside the man who just pinned the Intercontinental Champion on Raw, Carmelo Hayes. But Williams going in alone tonight as he set his one on one for this matchup with LA Knight. Well, you know, regardless of where LA Knight ends up in the WWE draft in a couple of weeks, he is on his way to April the 13th at Backlash. Kevin Owens defends the WWE Championship in a fatal four-way match against the almighty Bobby Lashley, the former champion, the visionary Seth freaking Rollins, and the megastar LA Knight. Backlash is coming to you from the Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico, Saturday night, April the 13th. Live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time only on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Backlash shaping up to be an extraordinary event, but before we get there, still so much more action on hand, including the WWE Draft in under two weeks' time, and of course right here on Velocity. Trick Williams looking to keep in some momentum for the Trick Mello gang going. Set for a one-on-one -on -one matchup with the Megastar tonight, and Trick Williams high out of the gate. Remember this past Monday night on Raw, Carmelo Hayes, the man Trick Williams is usually running with, teamed alongside the visionary Seth freaking Rollins in a successful effort against the WWE Champion Kevin Owens as well as the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn. Melo's been chasing Zayn for the last few weeks, looking to get an opportunity at the IC title. With that pinfall victory on Monday Night Raw, you gotta believe Melo is next in line. What about his running buddy, Trick Williams? What could be on hand for Williams if he picks up the victory tonight? Is able to keep down one of the top contenders for the WWE title in just a few weeks at Backlash. All remains to be seen, but Trick Williams just needs to get the job done first, especially against somebody like LA Knight who is riding a high off that victory against the almighty Bobby Lashley just over a week ago on Raw. Of course, LA Knight former Intercontinental Champion in his own right, lost the title to Sami Zayn back at WrestleMania. Held the title for quite some time, from Money in the Bank in July all the way to March at the show of shows. Now LA Knight in pursuit of new championship gold. But that road to San Juan, Puerto Rico, showing to be a bumpy one as Trick Williams has given him a fight since the opening bell. Megastar's gonna find a window of opportunity to get back into this matchup and a slap right to the face. Certainly a way to do so. Go for another one there, but Trick Williams throwing hands. Williams with some background in boxing, and he's showing it right here. But LA Knight hanging in there. Megastar, defiant one. And one of the challengers for the WWE title, not to be denied. LA Knight showing signs of life in this matchup as he scales the rope, very uncharacteristic position. But the megastar looking to leave no stone unturned, drop kick from the heavens. LA Knight realizing the only way to get back into this matchup is to throw caution in the wind. He needed a big time maneuver to get Trick Williams down and out, and he may have done just that. There's a reversal that time, sidestep. LA Knight, I don't think, got all that kick. We go now, dropping it with a simple yet effective suplex. Right into the ropes. Elbow drop right to the start. A minute of the cover. Is that going to do it for the megastar? Not just yet. Trick Williams is still in this matchup. But what a comeback over the last few minutes by LA Knight. Nice drop kick followed by the suplex, followed by the elbow drop. Elbow drop, excuse me. Trick Williams 
Not looking to be a stepping stone on Knight's road to backlash. And of course, on the road to backlash, this Friday night on SmackDown, one and only Ricochet set to go one-on-one -on -one with the OC's machine gun, Carl Anderson. And of course, this coming Monday night on Raw, Karrion Cross and Sheamus look to finally settle their issues when they are locked inside the confines of a solid steel cage. Both SmackDown and Raw coming your way over the next couple of days, as always, only on the No Edition Gaming YouTube channel. Rick Williams now getting an elbow of his own in there. Well, the night showed some signs of life, but it might just be tucked in the middle of a hot start and a hot finish by the young Trick Williams. Able to explode on the scene himself, a part of Monday Night Raw. That could have been all she wrote, could have been a knockout blow if Trick landed that bicycle maneuver. However, LA Knight with the sidestep and hangs Trick Williams out to dry. The mega star getting this crowd behind him. And drops him with an EDT. LA Knight's had a target on his back for the almighty Bobby Lashley to the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. But tonight, the task on hand is Trick Williams. And Williams has given LA Knight a fight he may not soon forget. Gotta hope LA Knight's mind isn't already in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where he will challenge for the WWE Championship, because if it is, Trick may find a window of opportunity to capitalize. Another near fall in this matchup. The action you're only going to see each and every Wednesday right here on the No Nation Gaming TikTok page. Early night again. Hanging Trick Williams up. The momentum of this matchup starting to go back and forth as the pendulum momentum swings from Trick to LA Knight. And another close call. And you see the enthusiasm on the kick out that time. Trick realizing it was almost over. Well, the Knight's got to find another way. Hoisting the big man up. That is no small competitor, but LA Knight digging down deep. A feat of strength that anyone should be proud of. Dropping Trick Williams with that fall away neck breaker. Trick trying to create some distance, rolling to the outside. I don't know how much good it's going to do for him. And LA Knight being smart, staying on the offense. However, Trick Williams. Wants this fight back inside the squared circle where he knows he can get an emphatic victory if it so be tonight. Back into the cover again. Referee's already calling for the rope break. LA Knight's foot clearly under the bottom rope. A naive mistake for the younger, less experienced Trick Williams. And now LA Knight. A little bit of snake guys there in the corner. Hoisting Trick Williams on top. What does the mega star got in mind? Hold on a second. LA Knight may be adding new maneuvers to his repertoire. Did you see the agility out of the megastar? Superplex, my goodness. There was some enthusiasm on that. The power from the megastar leads to an emphatic victory. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Seth freaking Rollins. The hell is he doing here on Velocity? These two men came to blows in the aisleway just over a week ago in Hershey, Pennsylvania on Raw. Rollins did not forget. A curb stomp. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta go off the air, but an ever-looming situation between Rollins and LA Knight continues to grow on the road to Backlash. It is Velocity only on TikTok, and we are getting right down to the action this week on the road to Backlash and on the road to the WWE Draft Lottery this Monday night on Raw. Representing the Judgment Day, Dirty Dominic Mysterio set to lock horns with Monday Night Raw's Apollo Crews. Should be some great action right here exclusively on TikTok. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. 
Head over to the YouTube channel, Noah Nation Gaming, and witness the live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern Time this Monday night on Raw. It is the 2024 Draft Lottery. Which superstars from Raw are heading to SmackDown and vice versa? Plus, the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line between Sami Zayn and Carmelo Hayes. That is coming up this Monday night live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Raw. And speaking of the Intercontinental Championship, Dominic Mysterio recently had a run-in with the champion, that being Sami Zayn back in the season opener at Madison Square Garden on Raw, an unsuccessful pursuit of the gold for dirty Dominic Mysterio. But as Dominic continues to show his new ways ever since joining the Judgment Day, can he get back on the right track and bring some good mojo to the Judgment Day? It has certainly been a rocky couple of weeks for the men and women in black and purple. Rhea Ripley losing her women's championship at WrestleMania, the Judgment Day, Damian Priest and Finn Balor losing their tag team gold at WrestleMania as well. Dominic's failed pursuit of the Intercontinental title. Things have not been going the way of the Judgment Day. Maybe it turns around here tonight on Velocity. But I'll tell you, easier said than done. Apollo Crews has been sitting on the sidelines for the last couple of months waiting for his breakout opportunity. A new season comes new opportunities. And maybe Apollo Crews breaks through the glass ceiling if we can get it out, starting here tonight on Velocity. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo well, all roads lead to a week from Saturday, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We are heading to the Coliseum in San Juan, Puerto Rico, Saturday night, April the 13th, for the 2024 Backlash. And what a night it is going to be. Drew McIntyre taking on Roman Reigns. The fatal four-way match for the WWE Championship, featuring Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, L.A. Knight, and Bobby Lashley. What about the World Heavyweight Championship? Up for grabs as Gunther defends the gold against the badass Braun Breaker. So much action coming up a week from Saturday at Backlash. You are not going to want to miss it exclusively over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Backlash, the draft lottery, a great time to be a fan. But here on TikTok for the fourth week in a row, we are back for Velocity. It is Dirty Dominic Mysterio versus Apollo Crews. Two Monday Night Raw superstars locking horns before our very eyes. I want to thank you for joining us once again this week on the road to the draft lottery, on the road to backlash. Let's see who's going to build momentum. Possibly take one step closer to championship contention on Monday Night Raw. Got to believe Dominic Mysterio would love to continue his pursuit of the Intercontinental Championship regardless of who leaves Boston this Monday night with the gold, whether it be the current champion, Sami Zayn, the man he fought a couple of weeks ago, or whether it be the challenger, Carmelo Hayes. Maybe Apollo Crews, somebody who challenged the New York Continental Gold who was seeking that championship back in 2023. Maybe Apollo Crews starts to rise the ranks of the red brand yet again, and maybe Crews sees himself challenging for championships in the near future. All remains to be seen so far, so good for Dominic Mysterio. Dominic has really taken over a new leaf since joining the Judgment Day back in January. He said he felt lost ever against, ever against trading to Monday Night Raw. Back in the fall, Judgment Day taking Dominic Mysterio in technically. And so far, it has been a rocky ship if I say so myself. Dominic Mysterio might have picked up a couple of dirty tricks in the Judgment Day locker room, but that doesn't mean he's going to be able to outmatch Apollo Crews here tonight. Look at the strength. Apollo's got all the tools to be a success. Just got to start raking up the W's to do so. Dominic control in the first minute of this matchup, but Apollo Crews simply turning things around, using his size and strength to his advantage. It ain't nothing mommy. Rhea Ripley can do at ringside. Dominic Mysterio might have bit off more than he can chew. Apollo Crews looking for his pound of flesh here tonight on Velocity. Well, wait a minute, keep your eyes on Rhea Ripley at ringside. Look at her waving her hands, yelling at Apollo Crews. Crews got to keep his head on straight. Dominic not afraid to take advantage of the distraction. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to remind you that coming up this Friday night on SmackDown, 
the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, the badass Braun Breaker, runs into the roadblock that is the Nigerian giant Omos. That's coming up in 48 hours on the blue brand. And then this Monday night in Boston, Carmelo Hayes heads back to Massachusetts to challenge Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship on Raw. And it is, of course, the 2024 Draft Lottery. Meanwhile, Apollo Crews sending Dominic Mysterio for an amusement park ride off the Triple Germans. And that may be all she wrote. The size and strength of Apollo gonna outmatch the speed and agility of Dominic Mysterio, not just yet. Apollo's gotta keep his foot on the gas pedal. Beautifully executed gut wrench. Dominic getting thrown from pillar to post here tonight. Paying his dues on the hands of Apollo Crews. But wait a minute here, Dominic might have caught him. 619. Dominic Mysterio now with a halo that Eddie Guerrero would be proud of. Into the cover, gonna steal the victory here on velocity. Not just yet, Apollo Crews is still alive. We've got ourselves a competitive clash on behalf of Monday Night Raw exclusively here on TikTok. Be sure to hit the like and follow. Velocity coming your way each and every Wednesday right here on the Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Meanwhile, Dominic Mysterio hoisting Apollo up for the Frankensteiner. And going for another cover this time. Will that do it? Apollo Crews still with blood pumping through the veins. What's Dominic gonna have to do to keep this man down? Hit the 619 already, and wait a minute here. Apollo Crews starting to get fired up. Meanwhile, Rhea Ripley just took the turnbuckle pad off the corner, and it might have just come back to haunt Dominic that time. All's fair in love and war as Apollo Crews getting his feet underneath of him here on Velocity. Dominic Mysterio trying to outrun Crews. Easier said than done. Here comes Apollo. Pop up, sets him out with the power bomb. Referee's got his back turned. Apollo Crews into the cover. Will that do it? Not just yet, Dominic Mysterio's got the shoulder up, but a beautifully executed powerhouse maneuver by Apollo Crews. And now goes to the top, looking for the frog splash, nobody home. Back and forth, the momentum starts to swing between the Judgment Day's dirty Dominic Mysterio and the ever-resilient Apollo Crews. Rhea Ripley exposing that turnbuckle once more. The games of the Judgment Day. And Dominic Mysterio looking to take advantage. Apollo Crews sent right into the exposed corner. Well, that is just ridiculous. That is the new tactics that Dominic has picked up hanging out in the Judgment Day clubhouse. Frog splash by Dirty Dom. And that is gonna do it. A great matchup that unfortunately sees a tainted victory if you ask me. Rhea Ripley exposing the turnbuckle pad and Dominic showing why he chose to join the ranks of the Judgment Day. Any means necessary to get victory and that is exactly what Dominic did here on TikTok. Here is your winner. Join us this Monday night on the YouTube channel live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the 2024 Draft Lottery. Thank you for joining us here on Velocity. We'll see you next Wednesday here on TikTok. Hot off the heels of a ground-shaking WWE Draft, it is time for Velocity on TikTok. And of course, coming up this Saturday over on the YouTube channel, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time, it is WWE Backlash from the Coliseum at San Juan, Puerto Rico. The fatal four-way match for the WWE Championship. Gunther, Braun Breaker for the World Heavyweight Championship. Roman Reigns returning to the WWE ring for the first time in over two years to take on the Scottish Warrior. Drew McIntyre. All that and more come your way live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Saturday night only on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. 
But as we have been each and every Wednesday of the season thus far, we are here on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel for Velocity, and we are kicking things off with Solo Sokoa and the Bruiser Way. A matchup that was originally two Monday Night Raw superstars set to lock horns, but after the WWE draft this past Monday, you were looking at one of SmackDown's newest superstars, the Brawling Brutes collectively, Sheamus, Ridge Holland, and this man, the Bruiserweight Butch, drafted to Friday nights. An unintentional interpromotional matchup now taking place here on your Wednesday afternoon. WWE Draft this past Monday, the replay available right now. So much news coming out of that extraordinary event. Number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, Ron Breaker, gonna have to do or die this Saturday as he has been drafted to Monday Night Raw. What about the almighty Bobby Lashley, one of the men who will compete for the WWE title in the fatal four-way matchup. He's on his way for, to Friday Night SmackDown. Bianca Belair heading to Monday Night Raw. Asuka heading to Friday Night SmackDown. The list goes on. So many picks changing the landscape of the WWE. The draft lottery replay available right now on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But here we go on your Wednesday afternoon. TikTok exclusively for Velocity. Solo Sokoa hot out of the gate against the Bruiserweight Butch. And you gotta expect nothing less from the Enforcer. Solo returned to Monday Night Raw two weeks ago, the first time since his loss to Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania, and Solo came with a vengeance, absolutely annihilating Ashante the Adonis on Monday night, just over a week and a half ago. Now looks to take on some competition, which is what Solo has been calling out in the WWE locker room, telling the locker room to step up or get stepped on. The Bruiserweight Butch, never afraid for a fight. Butch gonna give Solo a run for his money tonight. See who hits harder. Very well could be a knockout blow for a decision tonight. Forget a pinfall or submission. And there's Butch dropping Solo right in his crown. Solo wanted a fight. Butch may give him a war here on Velocity. Tell you what, Velocity has been giving us some incredible action over the last few weeks. Cruiserweight action from SmackDown. Heavyweights colliding from Monday Night Raw. Now we saw Seth Rollins ambush LA Knight two weeks ago here on the black and green brand if you want to dub it that. All on the road to backlash this Saturday night when the WWE Championship will be on the line. Nonetheless, the Bruiserweight continuing to stack the offense against Solo Sokoa. Solo again issued the challenge to the locker room. Butch the man to step up. And after the draft this past Monday, we are now witnessing a Raw vs. SmackDown in a promotional matchup here on a common ground of Velocity. A solo try to get back into this matchup. Obviously the strength and size in the corner of the street champ. Well, as we mentioned, Backlash live this Saturday night, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Championships will be decided from Raw and SmackDown. Of course, Friday night, SmackDown's women's world title will be on the line. Shayna Baszler defending against Zelina Vega. Monday Night Raw's WWE Women's Championship up for grabs as Liv Morgan defends against the Buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton. What about the action that's happened 24 hours prior on Friday Night SmackDown? Hold that thought. Spinning solo by Sokoa. Butch able to get the shoulder up, the matchup rolls forward. But nonetheless, in 48 hours on Friday Night SmackDown, WrestleMania rematch for the United States Championship. Ricochet set the lock horns with the phenomenal AJ Styles. That is coming up in just 48 hours on Friday night. SmackDown in Orlando, Florida, just 24 hours before our trip to San Juan, Puerto Rico at Backlash. The action certainly hot and heavy this week. United States title on the line on Friday. The Intercontinental Championship just decided this past Monday night in an extraordinary contest on Raw. Sami Zayn still holding the gold. You gotta wonder who's gonna be stepping up next. Could very well be the street champ, Solo Sokoa, who remains on the red brand. He continues to rake up some victory since his return. Yet yeah, easier said than done when he is in there with a former two-time Intercontinental Champion in the Bruiserweight Butch. Solo stacking the offense right now, bringing the fight to the outside. I don't think that is where Bru the Bruiserweight wants to be. 
with this mean enforcer. Solo looking to have his way with the man who stepped up to the plate tonight. Solo Sokoa wreaking his rewards, but he better capitalize right now. Butch not somebody to take lightly in between the ropes. Butch getting to his feet. Yet on spaghetti legs, here comes Solo. Or was Butch lying in wait? The bruiser way playing possum. Solo comes to strike. Butch counters with the snap German. And now vintage bruiser weight action as he smashes Solo's arm on the canvas. And here comes Butch coming alive on TikTok on velocity. Solo Sakella in trouble. Look at us snap the fingers. Nobody does it like Butch. The bruiser weight showing how he earned that nickname. Solo Sakella feeling the brunt of it. Solo may have started to take Butch lightly in the middle of this contest. Butch finding a window of opportunity to take advantage. Good sidestep that time, and here he comes again. Solo doesn't know what hit him as Butch is coming alive. Into the cover he goes. Could be a huge upset here for the newest SmackDown superstar. Unfortunately, Raw Sokoa still in this fight. Kind of that time and a mean Larry. Solo Sokoa, not one to mince words. Maybe done playing games in this matchup on Velocity. Oh no, Solo stalking his prey. I think we know what comes next. Samoan Spike. Butch putting up a hell of a fight, but very few men have lived to talk about getting a Samoan Spike to the throat. Solo Sokoa picking up a monumentous victory this week. Only on TikTok, only on Velocity. What's next for the Enforcer on Monday Night Raw? Here is your winner, Solo Sokoa. Don't miss Backlash this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, only on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us on Velocity. We'll see you next Wednesday afternoon here on TikTok. This week on Velocity, hot off the heels of a world championship encounter with Guther this past Saturday at Backlash, one of the newest Raw draftees, Braun Breaker, is set to take on another man with that same title, making his return to the red brand here on Velocity tonight. That is a former World Tag Team Champion in Dijak. Braun Breaker threw out the challenge to the Raw locker room. He wanted competition. Dijak, the man that steps up right here on your Wednesday afternoon edition of Velocity Only on TikTok. Thank you for joining us yet again as Braun Breaker and Dijak get right to the action here tonight. Braun Breaker and Dijak both drafted the Monday Night Raw just over a week ago. Braun Breaker looking to bounce back as they're coming up short. In his pursuit of the World Heavyweight Championship to Gunther this past Saturday night at Backlash. Dijak, however, with different plans. Dijak was once a part of the Monday Night Raw roster, one half of the World Tag Team Champions with Damian Priest at one point in time. Last year was drafted to Friday Night SmackDown, unfortunately due to injury, never showed up in the blue brand. Contract expired. Dijak took his talents to NXT, has been re-honing his craft really recreating the man you see before your very eyes all over again and now he's back a part of the royal roster and now is here on velocity and showing you why dijack one of the most impressive specimens we have ever seen inside of the ring the agility of a man with that size and strength braun breaker agile as all hell and strong as all hell as well but he may have meant his match tonight you got to wonder if Breaker is coming into this matchup anywhere near 100%. Breaker's been keeping up a pretty active schedule during his time on Friday Night SmackDown, bleeding into Backlash this past Saturday. An absolute war with the ring general, Gunther. Right now, he's just got to focus on getting back inside of the squared circle. Dijak, however, closing the gap. Breaker going to send Dijak back into the ring. Both of these men looking to mount some momentum. Newly acquired superstars to Monday Night Raw in last week's draft. And for Braun Breaker, 
Tonight is about bouncing back. Getting on the right path. A part of the Monday Night Raw roster. Breaker wanted to fight. He's getting one, that's for damn sure. Braun looking to dish it right back to Dijak. Better keep his eye on the ball or Dijak's gonna make Breaker feast his eyes on Raw's newest superstar. And into the pinfall. And not just yet. Again, you gotta wonder if Breaker is coming to this matchup anywhere near 100%. If you missed Backlash, it was an absolute war of all wars between Breaker and Guther for the World Heavyweight Championship. The ring general of Friday Night SmackDown retaining his gold and now heads towards May the 4th, Saturday night. SmackDown exclusive Backlash event in Sacramento, California. He's gonna defend that World Heavyweight Championship against the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. Now Braun Breaker into the pinfall, off the moonsault, and again, Dijak getting the shoulder up. SmackDown exclusive battleground, Saturday night, May the 4th, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time, but one week following that, the Monday Night Raw crew heads to Bakersfield, California, Saturday night, May the 11th, for the Raw exclusive Vengeance event, which has already begun to make some waves on Monday Night Raw this past week. So much action on hand in the coming weeks, but the action tonight may have just come to a screeching halt. Dijak off the discus boot, but Braun Breaker still alive. Dijak taking advantage of a misstep moments ago by the badass. Braun Breaker able to survive, creating a little distance here and a shoulder block for his troubles. Dijak rolling to the outside, but Braun Breaker willing to meet him there over the top rope. Could be an even matchup tonight in terms of strength, in terms of agility. Dijak with a few extra inches start standing over Braun Breaker tonight. But Breaker chopping him down to size moments ago. Back inside the ring where Breaker hopes to get the job done. Ron Breaker's been hungry for competition. This is a man who turned away the rated R superstar Edge, possibly retired him at WrestleMania. Owns victories over the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, the Viper Randy Orton, and the Nigerian Giant Omos upwards of the last month. And now Breaker joins Monday Night Raw. But after falling short to Guther on Saturday night, Breaker finds himself at the back of all the lines on Monday. We'll get back on the right track. Dijak looking to start off his new Monday Night Raw career on the same accord. Misstep that time. Ron Breaker again looking to send Dijak into the ropes. This time Dijak with the sidestep and it's Breaker going flying to the outside. Let's see if Dijak can take advantage. One half of a former World Tag Team Champion. Taking the fight to the badass on the outskirts of the ring. Well, this Friday night on SmackDown, the action gonna continue. The Tribal Chief Roman Reigns set for a first time ever collision against the newest SmackDown draftee, that being Carmelo Hayes. That is gonna be a great matchup on Friday. And then what about on Monday, the phenomenal AJ Styles, newly acquired for Monday Night Raw in the draft, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion Kevin Owens. So much action on hand in the coming days, in the coming weeks, as SmackDown approaches Battleground and Raw approaches Vengeance. But here on Velocity, exclusively on TikTok, Breaker scaling the ropes. Maybe taking too long to capitalize, able to drop the hammer on Dijak. Let's see if Breaker can now take advantage. Going for an elevated lariat there, did not get all of it. And this is where Dijak can be most dangerous. Springboard crossbody. Agile as all hell. And now Breaker going for an amusement park ride. Ron Breaker finding out firsthand just why Dijak made waves on Monday Night Raw his first go around and why he may be a problem for the Raw locker room in 2024. He is certainly a problem for the badass here tonight. Breaker wanted the challenge, but he may be regretting throwing it out. Days removed from a war with the ring general Gunther. Big time savant kick. Dijak going to the top. And the big time splash. That could be all she wrote. Ron Breaker 
Days confused and Dijak with his eyes locked. Could be looking to feast his eyes. Breaker with other plans. Into the ropes he goes. Massive shoulder block that time. And the spear by Broad Breaker. Cut and Dijak in half. But Dijak gets the shoulder up again. Breaker felt a sense of urgency. Went right for the kill, but the spear does not keep Dijak down. However, this maneuver has kept down some of the best of them as of late. Press slam, down goes the big man. Into the cover, right here on Velocity. And that's gonna be a victory for the badass of Monday Night Raw. Both these men take their talents to Monday Nights, former SmackDown and NXT superstars, waging war here on Tom and Ground on Velocity, but the badass Braun Breaker getting the best of the ever agile Dijak here this afternoon. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. Another exciting edition, as it always is, each and every Wednesday, right here on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Be sure to hit the like and follow for more, as Velocity is coming our way each and every Wednesday. Ron Breaker takes his talents to Monday Night Raw, and he is certainly on the right put. A great victory over Dijak tonight. What is going to be next for the badass as he takes his war to Mondays? For the first time on Velocity, Women's Division Action takes center stage, representing Friday Night SmackDown. The first lady of the LWO, Zelina Vega, set to lock horns with the genius of the sky, EO Sky, as we kick off yet another exciting edition of Velocity, exclusively on TikTok. These two women set to do battle. As the chase for the Women's World Championship over on SmackDown heats up, Zelina Vega looking to get back in contention. EO Sky looking to do so as well. I want to thank you for joining us here on Velocity, exclusively on the No Nation Gaming TikTok page. Be sure to hit the like and follow for more. Velocity coming your way each and every Wednesday, as we have had for the last seven weeks. And now for the first time, two women taking center stage here on Velocity, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown. The LWO Zelina Vega hot off the heels of her pursuit of the Women's World Championship at Backlash just short of two weeks ago against the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. The matchup where she came up short, Zelina Vega not looking to have the same result tonight through the ropes, double boots to the genius of the sky. Zelina gave Shayna a fight less than two weeks ago in San Juan, Puerto Rico, was within inches of winning the Women's World Championship at Backlash, but the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, has just been on another level. Shayna Baszler has held that title since November the 19th of last year at Survivor Series when the Women's World Championship was first introduced, a matchup that included EO Sky. Of course, we found out just a number of days ago that Shayna Baszler will be defending her Women's World Championship less than two weeks' time in Sacramento, California at the SmackDown exclusive Battleground event. Going to be going one-on-one -on -one with Raquel Rodriguez, a woman who has been in pursuit of the championship for months on SmackDown. Raquel fell short back at WrestleMania, has worked her way back up to number one contendership. Raquel going to get her opportunity Saturday night, May the 4th, in the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. Right now, EO Sky is trying to outlast the fury of Zelina Vega in the opening moments of this matchup on Velocity. Whether it's inside the ring or out, EO Sky looking to break apart the first lady of the LWO. Zelina Vega trying to tap out to get this submission hold off her back, both figuratively and literally. Of course, on the outskirts of the square circle, EO Sky is pretty much free to do what she wants between the count of a 10. This guy, somebody who has been on the cusp of great things on Friday Night SmackDown. Stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Raquel Rodriguez a couple of times herself. Io just needs to really rake up a couple of victories. We've talked about it in the past. The victories that have kind of been scarce in the genius of the Sky SmackDown career. This guy starts picking up the W. She could be a force to be reckoned with on Friday Night SmackDown. Zelina Vega, however. Not looking for that big W for Io to come off her behalf. First lady of the LWO, I would say, truly turned some heads 
a number of weeks ago in the gauntlet match on SmackDown. It would have pinned the shoulders of the EST Bianca Belair on that night as well as a returning shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox. Selena Vega, as we mentioned, went on to take on Shayna Baszler for the Women's World Championship, came up short at Backlash. We can't count out Vega to make herself known in the SmackDown Women's Division once more. A victory here tonight could propel her right back to top contendership. But Io Sky looking for that same result. Io Sky dangerous in the air, can also be dangerous on the mat. Some great striking ability in the international superstar. She once again ties Zelina Vega up. The double knees right to the lower back. Zelina Vega tried to give up at ringside a few moments ago, obviously knowing it wouldn't cost her the matchup, just trying to get Sky off her back. Oh, but now Z Zelina Vega, excuse me. Going for the roll up there. Not to be found. EO Sky now stacking up the first lady of the LWO. Victory is not to be found just yet. Oh, but it might after that. Mean knee right to the jawline. Well, this coming Friday night on SmackDown, the almighty Bobby Lashley returns to the blue brand for the first time since being drafted. He goes one-on-one -on -one with the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, and the man you saw right here on Velocity last week, that being Dijak, set for a collision against the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, this Monday night on Raw. Some great action ahead on the road to SmackDown's Battleground, Saturday night, May the 4th, and of course, Vengeance, Courtesy of Monday Night Raw, Saturday night, May the 11th. Two premium live events on the horizon as EO Sky muscles Zelina Vega to the top. EO Sky is dangerous. Certainly comfortable in the air. Zelina Vega's going for a ride. Off the Spanish fly. Brought down to the canvas, not by will, but by force of the opponent. And now EO heading back to the top. Could be looking for the over the moon salt. Zelina Vega, however, popped to her feet and made EO Sky lose her balance off shaking the top rope. Great resilience shown there by Vega. What could have been disaster off the Spanish fly, possibly followed by the over the moon salt. Zelina has found herself back in the driver's seat of this match. <laughs> and out of the corner goes EO Sky. Selena Vega knows that on behalf of Friday Night SmackDown, the Women's World Championship, Shayna Baszler has got to be scouting this contest for potential future challengers. Selena trying to make her presence felt once more. Neo Sky now. Another reversal. This is some great action here, only on TikTok, on Velocity. Submission hold locked in. Vega struggling to hold on. Jessica Carr right there to make sure she doesn't miss attack. Well, Vega creating distance. Back and forth we start to go in this SmackDown Women's Division matchup. Now Zelina to the outside. These two women not afraid to get their hands dirty in the outskirts of the ring tonight. That is for darn sure. Back inside the squared circle, Zelina Vega trying to mount some offense, trying to find a way to put Io Sky away. Drops her right on the crown of her head. One of the maneuvers that almost won her, the Women's World Championship, less than two weeks ago at Backlash. Unfortunately, not victory tonight over Io Sky. Dropping Io right on her crown moments ago. Io Sky, the wherewithal to be able to shake it off and keep fighting in this matchup. And once again, Zelina Vega is dropped face first on the canvas. Back and forth, starts to go once more in this matchup. Almost a pinfall there. Vega, talk about the wherewithal of Io Sky. What about the wherewithal of Zelina Vega reaching out and grabbing the ropes to break the three? Raquel Rodriguez has got Shayna Baszler for the Women's World Championship at Battleground in less than two weeks. Io Sky or Zelina Vega could easily be on the horizon for one of those women when the Women's World Championship is decided. Io go to the top. Zelina Vega starting to get to her feet. Sky not looking to risk it. Back down to the canvas she goes. Zelina in the air. Air raid crash for the second time in this matchup. Sky hungry for victory. But not to be denied is the first lady of the Latino world order. Selena Vega, just as she always does, giving it a resilient fight. 
Rio Sky with her eyes locked. Face first off the canvas for another time in this matchup. Submission hold. Locked in once more. Vega's got nowhere to go and she's forced to tap. Selena Vega came into this matchup hot off the heels of a collision against the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Unfortunately for the First Lady of the LWO, some bad luck continuing to plague her career. Io Sky with a huge victory here on Velocity. Here is your winner, Io Sky. Raquel Rodriguez gets Shayna Baszler in less than two weeks at Battleground for the Women's World Championship with the genius of the sky, Io Sky could be hot in pursuit of the winner of that matchup. Look out for Io on Friday Night SmackDown. Thank you for joining us for yet another competitive week of action only here on TikTok. Be sure to hit the follow and like, and be sure to come back next week for more Velocity. It is another week of red hot action only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel for another week of Wednesday afternoon velocity. This action courtesy of Friday Night Smackdown. Stemming out of the Cruiserweight division, the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World, the Irish Ace, JD McDonough. Days before he clashes with the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov has his hands full with the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, as another week of Velocity kicks off exclusively here on TikTok. We are just days away. The anticipation is palpable before we get to the SmackDown exclusive Battleground event in the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California, where the man who just went for a ride, courtesy of the big strong boy, that being JD McDonough, is set for a clash against Ilya Dragunov. A clash like no other. A last man standing matchup. The third match between those two over the last few months. McDonough will not be satisfied until he defeats Dragunov for the gold. Tonight is all about building momentum for the number one contender. Tyler Bay, I am sure, is eager to get his hands on McDonough tonight. It was only a few weeks ago on SmackDown where Tyler Bate went one-on-one -on -one in non-titles action against Ilya Dragunov upon his SmackDown return after being drafted to the blue brand. That matchup unfortunately interrupted by the man in the black and green, JD McDonough took a seat at ringside and then took it upon himself to ambush the Mad Dragon in the middle of the contest, causing a disqualification. Now well, Tyler Bates got a chance to right that wrong here on Wednesday afternoon on Velocity. And wait a minute, McDonough might have got caught Inside cradle by the big strong boy, but JD McDonough able to pop the shoulder off the canvas. For McDonough tonight is all about building some last minute momentum. He's been on a tear in the cruiserweight division over the last couple of months. Remember, he went one on one with Wes Lee on Friday Night SmackDown back in March. Not only picked up the victory, but laid Wes Lee out after the matchup with a steel chair at ringside. We haven't seen the young man since. Tyler Bate not looking to be a stepping stone on McDonough's journey to challenging for the Cruiserweight Championship. His own aspirations in mind as his Friday Night SmackDown comeback continues to commence. Drafted over to the blue brand a number of weeks ago. Had a chance to earn himself a matchup for the Cruiserweight Championship if he were to slay the Dragon in a non-title affair. Did not get that opportunity the way he would have hoped because of J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough's got to find a way to survive the big strong boys onslaught here tonight. McDonough has been on the tail of Ilya Dragunov since the month of December on Friday Night SmackDown. Those issues finally going to come to a head this Saturday night. He's going to be live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time only on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. The SmackDown exclusive battleground event from the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. McDonough one-on-one -on -one with Dragunov in the last man standing match for the Cruiserweight Championship. What about Carmelo Hayes taking on Ricochet for the United States Championship? Women's world title on the line in a WrestleMania rematch as Shayna Baszler defends against Raquel Rodriguez. A-Town down under going to put the WWE Tag Team titles up for grabs against Axiom and Nathan Frazier. We'd be remiss if we didn't mention the main event, the first time ever collision. A monstrous collision at that for the World Heavyweight Championship as the ring general Gunther defends against the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. All that and more coming up on Saturday night in Sacramento. 
But here on Velocity, Tyler Bate on Spaghetti Langs at ringside, and JD McDonough knocking him down to size with a Tope Suicida. JD McDonough has been on a tear, as we mentioned on Friday Night SmackDown. Raked up victories over Wesley, Johnny Gargano, all the while catching the attention of Ilya Dragunov. Remember, back on the first edition of Velocity, right here on TikTok, JD McDonough laid out Ilya Dragunov after a successful outing against Axiom. All that happened over the last few weeks on Velocity and on SmackDown, and coming up this Friday night on the Blue Brand, one half of the tag team champions, Austin Theory, is have to go one-on-one -on -one against the Latino World Order's Rey Mysterio. Theory looking to build momentum towards Saturday at Battleground. He has that chance on Friday night, and then what about Monday coming up on Raw? The Hardman of Doom carrying Cross, one of two top contenders for the Intercontinental Gold. Set to reunite his rivalry with the WWE Champion Kevin Owens just days before the Raw brand headlines Vengeance on Saturday night, May the 11th. Meanwhile, Tyler Bate inside this arena tonight, taking JD McDonough for a ride. Around and around we go with the tilt to whirl. McDonough is not going to be able to see straight. Hell, this is a great tactic to make sure McDonough doesn't answer a count of 10 on Saturday. Dragon off, maybe taking notes. Tyler Bate knocking down JD McDonough. Looking for the exclamation point here on TikTok. Going for the corkscrew, nobody home. Tyler Bate has put away many of people with that maneuver. JD McDonough has done the same with the devil inside. But Tyler Bate able to survive tonight. JD McDonough thought he had it off the misstep. Tyler Bate crashing and burning off the corkscrew. The devil inside, however, not coming out to play just yet. Tyler Bate able to get the shoulder off the canvas, but at what cost? He might have just lit a fire under the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship, who's looking to keep his momentum strong on the road to battleground this Saturday night. Tyler Bate just crawling away to the corner, needing the ropes to get to his feet. The Irish ace looking to pull out the ace in the hole. Drop kick sent in Tyler Bate like a bullet into the turnbuckles. JD McDonough may not be a fan favorite, but he has certainly been a difference maker in the cruiserweight division. The only thing keeping him from the top of the mountain is the 10 pounds of gold that is around the waist of the Mad Dragon. Could McDonough be leaving Sacramento, California this Saturday night with that prestigious goal that he's been chasing for six months at this point over on Friday Night SmackDown? Tyler Bate going to put himself in championship conversations if he picks up a W tonight. That's for darn sure. Going to wear down J.D. McDonough and find a way back in this matchup. But McDonough, I'll bite, may be better than ever right now. Tyler Bate in trouble, arms locked and goes for a ride. Now McDonough, eyes locked, the big strong boy. With his eggs already scrambled, headbutt Saito. Tyler Bate looking up at the lights. JD McDonough has become a problem on Friday Night SmackDown. This Saturday night, JD McDonough gets his opportunity. Tyler Bate was looking to play disruptor, looking to get himself in championship conversations, but J.D. McDonough's momentum riding at an all-time high. Here is your winner, J.D. McDonough. Are we looking at the next Cruiserweight Champion of the World? Are we looking at the last man standing? Those questions will be answered live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Saturday night from the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. SmackDown presents Battleground when the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, goes 1v1 against the Irish ace J.D. McDonough in a last man standing match for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World.
just days before he challenges for the Intercontinental Championship this Saturday at Vengeance, Baron Corbin set to go one-on-one -on -one with Monday Night Raw's R-Truth on yet another exciting week of Wednesday afternoon velocity only here on the Nomination Gaming TikTok. Be sure to leave a like and follow for more. Velocity comes your way each and every Wednesday only here on TikTok. And what a high profile match on hand. Baron Corbin looking to keep his momentum alive as he approaches an Intercontinental Championship contest this Saturday in Bakersfield, California, Mechanics Bank Arena in the Triple Threat Tables match for the Intercontinental title. Baron Corbin has had some momentum on his side as of late on Monday Night Raw. Just several weeks ago, picked up that victory over the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn in non-title action. Of course, Baron Corbin and Karrion Cross have had their issues. Their partnership leading up to WrestleMania in March has really gone up in smoke. And with both men having their eyes on the same end goal, that being the Intercontinental Championship, they have been more than willing to go through each other to earn a shot at the gold. Just like our truth more than willing to risk it all for victory tonight, but Baron Corbin laser focused on the same end goal. Choke breaker to R-Truth. Put R-Truth in a hospital bed if he ain't careful. Baron Corbin getting his hands dirty. This past Monday Night on Raw for the second time putting Karrion Cross through a table in the backstage area. Karrion Cross has laid out Baron Corbin in the middle of the ring as well as put Sami Zayn through a table. All three men have been going at it over the last few weeks on Monday nights. The two men are going to have to go through a table. Eliminations are going to have to take place. And the last man standing will leave Bakersfield, California this Saturday live at 5 p.m. Eastern time with the Intercontinental Championship. Look at our truth right now, picking up momentum in this matchup right here on Velocity. Could be a huge upset tonight if our truth is able to score said victory and sending Baron Corbin over the top rope with emphatic force. And now with some speed and our truth taking it to the air. I think he shifted the announce table on the way down. Our truth wanting his opportunity. Realizes Baron Corbin, one of the top contenders for the Intercontinental Championship as we speak. A victory over Corbin could put the veteran R-Truth in championship conversations. All the fun-loving jokes and games and antics that R-Truth likes to bring to the squared circle, don't let that fool you. All the skill in the world to get the job done. A former United States Champion, former Tag Team Champion, hell, former NWA Champion, and R-Truth no matter the result, is going to be feeling that one tomorrow morning. Aaron Corbin now with his eyes locked on Truth as Truth just collapses off the clothesline in the corner. Once again, the Monday Night Raw crew heads to Mechanics Bank Arena in Bakersfield, California, live this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern time for Vengeance. You're only going to be able to see it over the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel. So head over there, not only click like, click subscribe, and turn on those post notifications that way you do not miss vengeance live this saturday oh no our truth in trouble with a deep six corbin into the cover momentum staying alive not just yet our truth getting the shoulder up baron corbin obviously has had his hand raised high over the last couple of weeks ever since that victory over Sami Zayn on raw maybe an asterisk next to it since Sami Zayn had defended the Intercontinental Championship a week prior in a very physical match against Carmelo Hayes, some say Sami Zayn did not go into that match with Corbin 100%. A win is a win, however, it put Corbin in conversations for the gold, and our truth looking to join those conversations. A comeback that his childhood hero would be proud of. And our truth slamming down Baron Corbin. Not able to put him away just yet, but certainly doing some damage. R-Truth revving up the engines tonight. Trying to remain focused on the goal. Baron Corbin may be in trouble. A nice reversal that time. Baron Corbin, former champion in his own right. Coming back to roll over the last few months after spending some time down in NXT and certainly been making some waves to say the least. R-Truth looking to make some waves here on Velocity tonight. 
Only on TikTok each and every Wednesday, this bonus action that you can't see anywhere else as our truth with the corkscrew of Aaron Corbin. Could be looking for an attitude adjustment. Baron Corbin avoids it. Sending truth into the ropes. And a back body drop for his troubles. Our truth may rue the day. He stepped into the ring with Baron Corbin. And another mean shot. Corbin. End of days to our truth. Baron Corbin challenges for the Intercontinental Championship this Saturday. Momentum is on the side going into the Triple Threat Tables matchup. But will he be able to leave Bakersfield, California with a prestigious goal? Baron Corbin with his eyes on the prize. It is a triple threat tables matchup for the Intercontinental Championship alongside Karrion Cross and the champion Sami Zayn. Will Corbin be leaving Bakersfield this Saturday at Vengeance holding the Intercontinental title for the first time in his career? Hot off the heels of his return on Friday Night SmackDown last week, Wesley looks to build momentum in the Cruiserweight division here on Velocity, but he's gonna have his hands full. The numbers in the corner of Angel Garza, his opponent, and of course, Humberto Carrillo looming at ringside. We welcome you to TikTok Velocity each and every Wednesday, only here on this platform. Be sure to hit the like and follow Velocity, hitting our 10th week this week. And Wesley and Angel Garza from the Cruiserweight division on Friday nights set to tear things down here in the black and green. Should be a great action on hand. And as we mentioned, Wesley hot off the heels of a shocking return last week on Friday night SmackDown. Targeting the brand new Cruiserweight champion in the Irish Devil, J.D. McDonough who of course took him out almost two months ago in McDonough's pursuit of the Cruiserweight Championship itself. Wesley now back in action here tonight, feeling 100%, but he may not be feeling that way for too long if Angel Garza has anything to say about it. Garza and Humberto looking to make some waves in the Cruiserweight division. On Friday night, SmackDown, it could start here tonight if Angel is successful against a returning fiery Wesley. Face first off the canvas, enough to knock, knock anybody out, excuse me. Wesley got to shake the cobwebs off, not looking to see his return to the ring be an unsuccessful one. J.D. McDonough was pushed to his limits last Friday night by Akira Tozawa. I will bite McDonough, I'm sure went into that matchup nowhere near 100% coming out of that last man standing contest at Battleground where he won the Cruiserweight Championship. McDonough was able to survive the onslaught of Akira Tozawa, then was met with the surprise of Wesley. He was obviously out for revenge after J.D. McDonough put him on the shelf back in the month of March. And all in the process, Wesley's pursuit of revenge just got that much sweeter with J.D. McDonough now holding the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. You see right there what Wesley is up against tonight. All the while, he's focusing on Angel Garza, Humberto Carrillo trying to play an X-Factor, exposing the corner. And it's not going to go well for whoever comes in contact with it. And Wesley keeping his peripheral on the man on the outside. Angel Garza going right into the exposed turnbuckle. Miscommunication there by Humberto and Angel. Wesley trying to capitalize. Never been afraid to soar through the skies. Going for a frog splash. Nobody home on the delivery. And now Garza looking to get back into this matchup. Some great action on hand. This is our 10th week of Velocity since kicking off almost two months ago. We've been here each and every Wednesday on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel for some incredible action across Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown as Wesley, now he is going in to the exposed turnbuckle. And try not to let that turn the tables in this matchup. Yet admire the desire for victory tonight by the returning Wesley. Scooping up Angel off the canvas and a nice rip toward knee. Absorbing the blow of the steel moments ago. You gotta give it up 
for Wesley. More focused than ever. He's on the outside. A nice tope suicida. Humberto can try whatever antics he wants on the outside of the ring. But Wesley is obviously laser focused on victory tonight. A Canadian destroyer on the outside of the ring. Angel's going to be seeing stars. Wesley keeping his foot on the gas pedal. Not looking to see his return to the ring be an unsuccessful one on this Wednesday afternoon on Velocity. Angel sent right into the ring, and Wesley in hot pursuit of him, looking to close this matchup on his own accord. Now heading back to the top rope where he's extremely comfortable. Going for a corkscrew, but again, Wesley miscalculates it. And Angel Garza out of the way, into the crucifix pinfall there. So much action in the middle of this cruiserweight contest here on Velocity. Those high-risk maneuvers by Wesley have been his detriment so far. Tope Suicida worked out a few moments ago, but the frog splash and the corkscrew was meant with no delivery. But Angel gets the delivery on that pile driver. Man, great action on hand as Angel Garza looking to pick up the victory. We, of course, got to look ahead to Friday Night SmackDown 48 hours from now over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel where the almighty Bobby Lashley going to get his much-anticipated rematch against the Apex Predator Randy Orton. Orton with the count-out victory a few weeks ago. Can Lashley write a different story on SmackDown? And then we look to Raw this coming Monday night. A stacked event it is going to be as Rhea Ripley headlines defending the WWE Women's Championship. Hot off the heels of winning it last weekend as she takes on the EST, Bianca Belair. So much action as the WWE continues to heat up on the road to King of the Ring next month. Garza sending Wesley to the outside. Great sequence of maneuvers. You saw that pile driver a few moments ago, unable to put Wesley away. Drop kicking him to the outside. And now, over the top rope, Garza with springs in his boots as he goes soaring to the outside. Wesley looking worse for wear as Angel Garza looking to pick the bones of a weakened opponent. Maybe his best opportunity as he scales the ropes this time. Big time maneuver. Down goes Lee into the cover. And a close call that time. Wesley, who has been resilient in this matchup, able to get the shoulder off the canvas once more. Lee knows that the Cruiserweight Champion J.D. McDonough has most likely got his eyes on this contest, knowing the events of last week on SmackDown, knowing Wesley has got his eyes laser-focused on the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. Lee looking to make a statement. Angel Garza looking to spoil Wesley's return. Only one man can be victorious in their pursuit. Wesley revving up the engines. Could be going for that ring post 619. Shout out to the Hall of Famer. And he follows it up with a nice springboard. A great sequence of maneuvers by a returning, resilient, and certainly motivated Wesley. What a victory here on Velocity. Here is your winner, Wesley. Wesley returning last week with a game plan to take down the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, the man who put him on the shelf two months ago, the Irish Devil. J.D. McDonough, and now tonight, Lee's return to action. And what a victory it was, a resilient one. Wesley making his presence felt in the Cruiserweight division. Be sure to hit the follow and never miss out on Velocity each and every Wednesday right here on the No Nation Gaming TikTok.